Welcome to the Advice Show, media with the common sense approach. So we had some teens that decided to steal a car. They was caught. And then they went to court. Now, as these teen thugs was in court, thinking it's a joke, laughing, the wild high in the hood rat showed up as well inside the courtroom. And you know when they show up, it's going to be a problem. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. A Broward County courtroom turned into a circus Tuesday. What was supposed to be a serious situation was met with laughing, smiling, kicking, cursing, and outbursts. Just one day after police say 14 suspects led them on a multi-city chase. Get that off of me, what the the end result, more individuals being taken into custody. Oh, get the cameras off. Hush your mouth. I said it. At the hearing for 15-year-old Maurice Thomas, the suspected driver, and 15-year-old Thomas Butler, seen here smiling for our cameras, the pair seemed to show up to show out in front of a judge. They're already accused of stealing cars and running from police. Also, the four suspects are wanted for crimes in Broward, Palm Beach, and Martin counties. <laughs> It started Monday evening when police say four teens stole this blue car at Lighthouse Point, then ditched it in Lauderdale Lakes, took off across this field, and stole another car, police say. The suspects were caught, but the antics continued Tuesday in the courtroom when their friends were belligerent, then refused to leave. In the end, several more were arrested. Now, some of you have asked me in the past, why would I call them thugs? And I'm going to tell you why. Because a thug is a person that's committing criminal acts. If these kids weren't committing a criminal act, I wouldn't call them a thug. Some of you have an issue when I call them a wild hyena hood rat. Well, was that upstanding young ladies that you saw in the courtroom? Were they following the rules? Were they doing what's right? Or were they loud, belligerent, acting a fool, doing things that's completely wrong? This is why I, I rather say you're this based on your behavior and just kind of group you and say, oh, you see, that's how young black girls act. You see, that's how young black guys act. No, I'm not going to do that. I want to separate you based on behavior. I just want to clear that up for those of you who have issues with some of the terms that I may use. Now, continuing, I feel bad for these kids. I'm going to tell you why. These kids were little at one point in time. I have children. And as a parent, it's your job to raise your children in the right environment, to teach them the right things, to teach them right and wrong. And you allow these kids to come up this way, disrespectful, stealing cars, just committing all kind of crime and making your child become the next slave for this plantation in America. Because we all know the 13th Amendment sanctions slavery in prison. They build in private prisons every day to house these kids. They making money hand over foot. The United States incarcerate more people than any other country in the world. They making so much money off of people like this in this video. And yet we are still as parents failing our kids and just giving them our children to put on that plantation. This was ridiculous what I saw on this video. I'll feel embarrassed. I will feel like I failed as a parent miserably if I saw my son a part of that group. Then he's laughing. He's not taking it serious. It's, it's no big deal to him. Then if any of those girls and my daughters out to put my head between my legs doing all that, what's all that? Ah, what's all that? What's all that? And you in court supposed to be supporting your person. And you're doing all that, getting contempt of court charge. What, you want to get arrested? I mean, no implications. And you know that criminal records follow you for the rest of your life. And you know how it is times two for black people with criminal records. But these kids wasn't taught anything about the real world. Wasn't taught about keeping your record clean, trying to stay on a straight and narrow, trying to do the best that they can in this world. It is sad. And very, very sick that we have children that come up this way in this country. And you could always link it back to the parents who wasn't around to make sure the kids came up right. I hate to see children like this. I really do. I hate to see kids grow up to be thugs and wild high in the hood rats. I hate that. When you're an adult, you know, I'm a lot harder on you 
But when you're a teenager, sometimes I just look at you and they look and you can see their kids. You can see it in their face. It's like, oh my God. They like just trying to ruin your life already. And them little girls, the way, the way they acting and all them types, and I've seen it so many times. You know, they, a lot of them be pregnant real quick with children on a system, on welfare, creating another Kiara. You remember that video I posted by Kiara? And being a welfare recipient and not doing much for their life. And then the children grow up in the same cycle, come up the same way. And it's the same thing over and over and over. This is why we have to get our community together. This is why we have to raise our children the right way. Teach them right from wrong. Teach them how it is to be a black man and black woman in this nation and how it's going to be for us in this nation. And teach us how to be revolutionary and overthrow the things that's against us. You see, I understand part of the children today have a rebellious nature right now. And I understand that rebellious nature come from the revolutionary spirit that's already in them. I get that. But if it's not directed right, it's going to do things like what we see today is committing crimes. Because it's just really sad. That these kids have no structure and they're going to go to jail on things they should not be doing. And as parents, it is our fault if our kids end up that way. Yes, they make their own choices, but... Use it with children, you can mold them where they should go. Now, they become an adult, do something, you can't do nothing about it. But at this age, even when the mama was telling that girl to shut her mouth, she still was going on and on, didn't even care. I mean, she lost control of that girl a long time ago, and she couldn't even shut her down in court in front of all them people. Please control your children, raise them right, and don't wait till they get that age that you see. Start when they're two years old, one years old. Get them in line then. That way they won't grow up to be like that, which you saw in this video. Make sure you check out the description box for the, the studio we're building. It's one campaign. We're building a TV-ready studio, and we need your help. Please check it out and donate. If you want to donate privately, you can on the advice show.com. You can hit the donate tab. Hit me up in the comments. Choose your commentary. Subscribe.